Okay, I just wanted to um, supplement what um, Cap 10.323 had um, done for the um, VNT replacement. Um, I've got a 2005 Golf um, TDI and BW, and uh, I looked at um, Cap's video, and it's and great and inspired me to do the job myself. The one thing I noticed was that it seemed like it might be easier to get to it from under here um, instead of from the top. So here's the um, actuator and this is a little bit maybe hopefully better view of the, um, the uh, bolts that are holding it, the actuator on. There's one here and there's one a little higher. And then the only thing, those I can reach from down here. Um, the only thing I'm a little bit nervous about is the um, bolt that um, holds the threaded arm uh, on. And we'll see if I can get to that. It's up here as the arm. And um, I can uh, barely see it from down here. So that might be tricky. But it doesn't require me to pull any of the intake stuff off. So I'm going to give that a try. We'll see how it goes. Well, the good news is I was able to um, pull the VNT actuator off the turbo uh, without <coughs> accessing anything from the top. Uh, tools required are a couple different 10-millimeter um, wrenches, 10-millimeter um, socket, um, and uh, a little bit of patience. It was actually really easy. It's, it's literally uh, two bolts, um, the electrical connector um, and the vacuum line. And um, I had not disconnected a Volkswagen electrical connector and that was uh, really what took me the longest. Uh, the thing that I learned by looking at another YouTube video is that um, if you slide the connector in, if you slide a pick in from this side, okay, and you slide it underneath the connector, it pops right off. So um, that's another finding um, for you folks who are trying to do the same thing. The only uh, bad news was um, the, the part that I ordered was the wrong size or the or the uh, part distributor sent me the wrong size. I'm not sure yet, but anyway, I need to get the right size part. This is the new actuator uh, just arrived. And it is, um, what I can tell, an exact replica of the um, old one. Um, except that it doesn't rattle when uh, when you shake it. So I'm hoping that the vacuum um, on this guy is um, good and can uh, open and close the veins on the turbo properly. Okay, so I'm about to put this back together and I've got the um, vacuum line uh, back on it. Uh, and um, I've got the plug um, connected uh, to the actuator as well. Just the three prong, three prong plug. And um, <coughs> the, um, the threaded rod has one nut on the, upper, on the other side, which is hard to see from here. Um, and then there's just the uh, two bolts uh, that hold the, actual, hold the actuator in one here and one here and i'll put those on and that'll be it obviously i've lined um i measured the number of threads that were showing on the previous um actuator and set up the um retaining nut um to the same depth so it should be in terms of tuning uh just about I don't I'm, I'm hoping there's no other adjustment we'll see okay so um, the code is now clear I cleared it 
um, after I installed the VNT actuator and it stayed clear um, so I think my problem is gone now uh, the code it was throwing was the P2564 code which is turbo uh, charger boost control uh, position sensor circuit low um, and I checked the wiring and it seemed fine so it was indeed the actuator that was rattled like a um, rusty can so uh, replace that uh, from the bottom side uh, if you have a ability to lift the car up um, seemed like the really easy way to do it so um, hope that helps somebody uh, I got the replacement part I initially ordered the wrong one and I um, contacted the company that sold it to me blast turbo in Quebec and um, they sold it on eBay. They, they operate as Blast Performance on eBay, and I think they have a Shopify site too. Um, but Guillaume had um, had gladly replaced the um, part. I had to ship it to Canada. I learned about Canadian customs coming from the United States. <laughs> I had to fill out a customs form, or my UPS driver wouldn't wouldn't ship it. Anyway, long story short, um, got the right part. Um, Blast Turbo Factory was great. Uh, I c had had searched all over uh, and hadn't been able to find a direct replacement. I know that there's some uh, uh, Kerma uh, TDI uh, has a, uh, a method of doing it with the older actuators, but um, anyway, Blast Turbo Factory has a has a uh, exact replica for for mine, so. If you have a BEW engine and um, you're getting that code, I hope this has helped you. Um, I'm grateful for uh, all the YouTube videos that are out there that I learned from <laughs> and um, hope this helps somebody else.